ఓకే సార్ పీటర్ మెక్కే నేను న్యూస్ తీస్తే అండ్ టుడే ఐ మీన్ షో ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ దిస్ so i think this app is very simple to use because all you need to do is do a screen recording in your mobile or in your ipad or so and then blend it with your video but it is a bit tricky because what peter mckinn and used was a bit neon color so you need to do it in after effects to get that effect but i'm not going to show that i'm going to show a simple one how to do this on screen effect with a simple screen recording and you can color grade it to match it like whatever you feel like but this is very simple to do in my way but if you want to do it exactly like peter mckinn's way like this neon colors you can download on Over launcher in your Android, in iOS it's not possible, but in Android it's possible. So if you want, you can directly do this from mobile by using a launcher and by using the neon colors directly in the phone. So I'm going to show a simpler version of Peter McKinnon's version because that is very complex. But this what I'm going to show here, it is very easy to use, and pretty much anyone can do this. It is so simple. So I have showed this video for both Final Cut Pro and for Premiere Pro. So if you have come for Final Cut Pro, then skip to this portion, and if you have come for Premiere Pro, then skip to this portion. With that being said, what's up, guys? Pixel Sammy here. I hope you guys have. in a great day welcome to a newest video let's just start it okay first i'm going to show for final cut pro these are the two footages which i have taken one where i am moving my hand and another where there is a screenshot of my ipad so first drag it over this clip and then right click distort reduce the size and then distort it in such a way that it looks like it is in the 3d plane like this just make sure to play it around so that it looks more natural light like around here yes and make sure the light in your footage is in such a way that it faces your screen share in this particular video as i am facing towards the screen share the light should be face in on the light should be falling on my face so make sure to play with the lights also otherwise it will not look natural okay now play with it Now what you need to do is you need to match your fingers with the movement of your screen share. So just play with it. Like just make sure that when your hand is moving, the slide of your screen share also moves. So I'm going to just fast forward this portion because it is dependent up to your footage and not up to my footage. So you guys can do it on your own. You guys should be able to do it on your own because all you need to do is you need to match your main footage with your screen share. That is enough. Okay, so now I'm going to compound this clip. like this and just reduce the size and change the blending mode to screen i'm sorry to screen yeah like this and then play with the opacity to make it look more natural and more like an hologram okay so this is pretty much it and then add a cross dissolve transition to the hologram so that it looks more natural like this so that it opens and closes with a very smooth fade in effect like this yep okay i'm going to increase the duration just a little bit okay just let it render so it is pretty much done but what peter mckinnon used was like a neon color type of thing which you can play with in the, in the color panel if you want to do this but in my particular video as the mood of the whole video is in a little bit in the warmer side so i'm going to keep it in the original one only but if it is in the cooler side for your case then you can play with the curves here to give it a more natural look the more neonish look like peter mckinnon used but for this for to maintain my own originality this is the footage which i have taken and this is i am preferring to keep this only so that is pretty much it just let it render and this is the final clip now i am going to show for premiere pro So these are the two footages which I have taken. And this is a screenshot of my iPad. 
and make sure to place markers in such a way that when the slide is moving make sure to place a marker there place a marker in your main footage also so that you can place that ipad screen over the main footage so that it can blend in or it can sync well so it is up to you because all you need to do is you need to sync both of them now double click this particular clip and then resize this you can crop this also resize this using the scale tool now go to the effects panel and type in corner pin and drag the corner pin over the clip and this corner pin allows you to play with the 3d plane so that it creates a more natural effect for your hologram like this it actually distorts it basically distorts the whole clip and make sure to play with this so that it looks more like a 3D more like a 3D hologram so that it looks more like it is in the 3D plane and make sure for this particular effect the direction of the light in your main footage should be opposite to the direction of your screen share like in this particular video as I am facing towards the screen share the light is in my face so make sure to play with it accordingly so this is pretty much it now change the blending mode to lighten and play with the opacity to around 68% or even less 60% or 58% so that is pretty much it now let it render now I am going to use a cross dissolve transition for this ok so now what you need to do is you need to add an adjustment layer so in this particular project panel right click adjustment layer make sure to match the settings drag this adjustment layer over this clip use the blade tool and then use the adjustment layer on the starting of the clip and the ending of the clip and then in the effects panel type in cross dissolve and place it on both the adjustment layers and then let it render And yes, if you want to change the color of this particular screen share, then you can play with the color corrector. Or what you can do is you can play with the color panel over this. You can play with the temperature, you can play with the tint to make it a more neonish like Peter McKinnon. But for this particular effect, as to maintain some originality and as the mood of the video is a bit warm, so I'm going to keep this as it is. I'm not going to change it. So now what you need to do is you need to render this clip so that I can show you what this effect actually does. This cross dissolve effect actually does. Okay, so when you play this, you can see that the whole video went dark when the cross dissolve transition appears. It is because when the cross dissolve transition is done, all the clips below the adjustment layer is affected. So what you can do is you can select both the clip, both the clip as in the adjustment layer and the screen shell layer, right click, and then nest nest this sequence and you can name it as you want and then again render it render the sequence now your video is ready so that is pretty much it Thank you so much for watching guys, hope you have liked the video. If you are someone who is interested in cinematography, photography and filmmaking then join in my channel is the right, right, right thing for you to do. So come let's join our hands and expand our family as much as we can. And do let me know in the comment section down below about what you are creating today. Peace.